Continuing to keep an eye on the tropics as we work our way through the month of June. Not every year we see this kind of activity out in the eastern Atlantic Ocean with two tropical storms now, one actually moving into the Caribbean and then another Cindy right behind it. So we've been tracking Brett now for the past several days. Winds of about 60 miles an hour pressure down to 1,001 millibars, continuing to move towards the west at about 18 miles an hour. Here we go tracking it just north of Aruba. It's running into wind shear, which is really just going to make the storm fall apart down to tropical depression status and then just completely completely disintegrating through the weekend. Back behind it, we've got Tropical Storm Cindy, so this is going to be about two to 300 miles behind it. But check this out, moving towards the west northwest at 15 miles an hour, which means at that trajectory, it's just going to miss the Caribbean altogether. So aside from causing a few waves in the northern part of the Lesser Antilles over towards the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico, it's really not going to impact too many people. Winds of 45 miles an hour this morning. It will continue to strengthen here over the next several days, up to about 60 or so. But as of now, we're not expecting Cindy to reach hurricane status. So burning through the first three names of the hurricane season through the month of June. But yeah, really atypical to see this kind of activity in this part of the Atlantic for this time of year. So Brett weakening in the Caribbean now. Cindy has formed in Brett's wake and that's going to move to the north of the Caribbean. But we are going to be keeping an eye on the Atlantic Ocean because the African wave train, as we call it, the waves of storms rolling off the coast of Africa continues to run ahead of schedule.